to my man when we was talking in the block. I said, when I grew up, man, when I was growing up, all the gorillas, killers, hundred dollar billers, dudes with the cars that I, the people that I looked up to that I thought was about something. And now that I'm getting older, I realized they really wasn't about nothing. They just made two dollars look like something. But they really had nothing. You get it? I know because as I grew up, I turned into them. I admired the dude that used to drive back and forth through 4th Avenue, through 5th Avenue with his car, with the rims, with the system, with the Buick Regal, the Grand National, the Cutlass. Boom, boom. Jump into the highways of my home, girl. Can't you see the rhythm? Love is everywhere. Boom. Eats me, son, she. Boom. It takes two to make a thing go right. Boom. It's the Big Daddy King. Six minutes, six minutes, Dougie Fresh, you're on, 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 on. Finish him. It's the Bismarck, yay. The fat boys are back. <laughs> Hungry. Six minutes. Ah, what up? Bugging out. You already know what this is. It's on the lock. Out, welcome to the show. My name is Walt Bat. You're tuned in to something that I don't even know could become something. Cause I started it with nothing. You can do it too. Don't let them fool you, baby. Just flow with it. Stop hating on me. I come from the mud, just like you. Yeah, bro. We bugged out over here. We switch up. What's up, people? You already know what this is. On a lockout, you gotta love it, though, man. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. We treat videos like lives. We treat lives like videos. <laughs> Yo, what's up? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> you see, my endorphins start kicking up, and it takes me to a place where... <laughs> where you never been before. <laughs> Perk. <laughs> Let me stop, yo. Yo, what up, though, people? Facts, me. My name is Wolf, man. I just want y'all to know I love you. The whole situation with the story with Aloe, man, was that they stripped my man butt naked and made him walk home, bro. And I know I could picture what or think about what was he thinking about at the moment. Like, what was his mindset? Like, holy snap, my little wiener is out in the air. What's gonna happen, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta walk in the street out like this. Like, it's crazy, my dude. How do you go up to somebody and be like, yo, I need to cover up? Huh? You know, and in New York, people walk right by you. They're not gonna stop to help you, bro. You could, yo, as the people, we're so fucked up. We're the foulest, right? We could see a dude really getting hurt, something happening. And we'll be like, yo, that's not gonna nothing to do with us. Yo, come in. Yo, yo, G, don't... Nah. You feel me? And it's crazy. Especially somebody with the Matruski hanging out. Like, what, what do you do? <laughs> like, bro, keep that away from me. You heard? Back up. <laughs> Facts. Like, it's bugged out. But uh, I say that to say, um, Allo never told him where I was at. He knew exactly where I was at. But shout out to Allo. Rest in peace to Allo. My best friend, I miss him dearly, man. Uh, the type of situation that, you know, all respects to my moms, right? That if a dude disrespect and be like, yo, your mother, you know how dudes be having the mother things that you gotta, oh, that's another story. Somebody said, I don't wanna hurt nobody. I seen this dude, we talk now. He got mad cuts on his face, his neck, everything. My man chopped him up with an axe. Facts. Shout out King Lou Rock, you already know. 44th Street and Fort. Chopped him with an axe, bro, because he said, your mother. And Lou Rock said, say that again? He said, your mother. Lou Rock said, yo, let me get that. Boy, like the dummy. I passed him the axe. 
Lou Rock went to work, helicopters and all came down. Facts, this dude leaking, bleeding and all, chase Lou Rock. That's another story I'm going to put out there probably. You know what I'm saying? I got to talk to the right people because I don't just put stories out there like that. I try to reach the people and be like, yo, do you mind? You heard? So with that being said, Allo never told Duke with the guns. I never seen him again to this day. He's probably going to see this video and be like, oh, that's what you look like. So sometimes if you're going to start doing these stories, you got to be aware like you're putting it back out there. People are rehearing it again so it bothers them more. So if they didn't have a problem with you and they was trying to let it be, you waking up the the monster again you feel me because now he feels like oh you bragging about it i'm not bragging about it but i'm just telling a story right because a coward like you or a dummy might come and murk me one day that's why i keep telling people i got money in my head. people are looking for me to, to murk me that's a fact so i know that one day i may not be here what hurts me the most is that i know that when people change like now I, war got his life together he found a, a lane he found something to do in life that keeps him entertained keeps him out of trouble a little right because i y'all know like i always keep it real i got one foot in one foot out like you know today i'm doing this tomorrow i wake up and i want to run the street again and i'm on the block like what up and dude's like oh snap war, what up on the lock i ain't see you in a minute i'm like what's popping i'm still around you know and, and i'm back on the block like for a week then i come back like boom what up people y'all already know what this is on a lock on they'd be like oh where you been at war i was in hell what about that <laughs> yeah i went back to hell for a week and if you ask me how was it it was hell and i became hell and i was given hell for a week but now i want to fall back and do youtube again so it's either you do this or you do that it's like the music you know what i'm saying because if you leave something alone for too long it, it's gonna it's gonna fall off if you start doing music and and, and you you lit you don't make music for a year, the people forget about you, right? I guess. Leave in the comments if I'm wrong or I'm right. With that being said, I love you guys, man. My name is Warpath. This is on the lockout. Don't ever think we glorifying here. That's not what we do. When you hear these stories from us people that have been in the streets, shout out to everybody that is doing the content, man. I just don't respect dudes that's glorifying. So sometimes when you see me make a quick video and I'm a little tight and I post it, and sometimes I want to delete it, but then I say, I, I, don't, I don't worry about what people think, but sometimes I want to delete it. You know, but then I say, nah, let me leave it, man. Because I see that it got 27 cents. <laughs> I need them 27 cents, bro. What's up? <laughs> yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, bro. You know, because it can steer people the wrong way. If you bring up a lot of stories of things that happen, especially like with clicks, I, that, I'm big on that. I hate that. I, I, I like unity. I like people bonding. I like people uh, 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 beef breaking out, making up, like posting it, whatever. If you do that, I don't just like when you're telling too much. You're telling, you're talking too much, homie. Shut the fuck up. And you guys that are next to these dudes, or you know what? The comment is the, the family, right? Because now, and I'm not saying we were the first, but we started like putting that hard. Like, we a family here. I started putting up the sign, you, you know, the word right there with my software. We family here, calling y'all the family. Now, everybody's like, we a family here, and it's cool, right? But you can't be saying we a family here, but you preaching gang, 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 gang. Right? And then you wake up the next morning and you make a video and it's gang, 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 gang. Boom, 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 boom. Again, shoot him up, shoot him up. We're back, nigga, what? Nah, man. And I'm not talking about nobody specific. I always got to say that, yo, we on. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what, bro? When a lot of, and I'm talking about, and, I, and, and I'm not talking about one particular, bro. You got to clarify that here because dudes take things personal. Next thing you know, you getting murked, work, walking outside for something you didn't even mean like that. And you're dumb. If you're the type of dude that catches somebody that's making videos and now you want to pop their top or something for Sunday, said on a video, you're dumb. If he wasn't talking to you specifically and didn't say your name or nothing, it don't matter. If he said something about your clique, your gang, whatever, bro, listen, leave that alone because your man's that's down with your same clique or your gang, when it's not going to do that for you. And if you think they are, bro, you got another thing coming, bro. If you think they're going to write you, send you commissary and be there for you when you locked up doing that bit for your gang, you got another thing coming, bro. Nobody, they don't make a manual for that. Like, oh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Oh, this was, this is why, this is the perks. This is what happens if you get locked up. You receive 35 pounds package every time up north. You get $150 every week in your commissary. That don't happen, bro. Facts. You may have a few that do it. You know why? And still in all, some people be mad in certain situations because people dislike this person or people dislike this person, right? What I'm about to say. 
Because it's about people that, like, that I know. And I still don't want to talk too much. Sometimes you go somewhere. Like, I was just going to be tight right now and start spinning, but I, I, I'm holding back. I'm analyzing what I'm going to say for the fuck, for the first time. Because <laughs> I just spit here. And I let out my feelings and what I feel. But, like, people be like, oh, whoa, you official, man. But the thing is, man, you know, you was running with so-and-so. Man, forget about who I was running with. I'm me, bro. I don't know what that man did. I ain't got nothing to do with what that man did. Me and him didn't plan that together. Like, what's up? But what I'm saying is, shout out to, you know, June is one dude. And this is dude June, my man. If you ever see this June, man, shout out to you, man. Because still, you know, even though you was mad at me and we got a little tight at each other, I don't mean to put our business out there because there's a million June, so people don't know what we're talking about. But shout out to him. I don't know why he did wrong to you because I've spoken to a lot of dudes and they're like, yo, June. Listen, I was super grimy too. I was super foul too, man. But people changed. I worked with this man. This man had helped me, bro. So I could speak for that. When I was broke, this man gave me $100 and was like, bro, don't worry about it. So when he get mad at me, I don't let him bark on me like, ah, like hip, pound. No, but I'd be like, yo, you right. Just the last time things got a little out of control because I felt he didn't know the whole story and I, and I got tight. We got tight. But I got love for him, bro. I, I, I got love for all my peoples. You feel me? But. That's one situation that I'm saying, like, dude helped me, and he, I seen him help a lot of people. But it's like me, and I say all that to say, I'm not saying nothing wrong about him, because people be like, oh, he mentioned June, oh, now they're going to... No, bro, I'm mentioning people in a good way, all my people. I love you, bro. I love you, and if you hear something about somebody, just don't jump the gun to to what it is. And I'm not saying... I'm off the situation with June. I came to say that that's why I mentioned it before, real brief, so people that see me mention it, it's not like, ah... Oh, no, bro, it's not nothing. I didn't. I, I never will mention it. I, my people or nothing about that here in a wrong way. I don't speak affairs, or none of that. But what I'm saying is, I know the people that that help that help me. So I can't say nothing bad, even if I'm mad. That's what I meant to say. I can't say nothing bad, even if I'm mad. But if you see one of your peoples online, because this happens a lot with a lot of other people that are involved in gangs and clicks. I'm not in a gang. You know what I'm saying? And those people that be like, oh, yes, you are. Bro, if you if you put the thinking and analyze what I'm saying, you will be like, oh, it's not that he's denying. He uh, He's using the right terms. I'm not in a gang. I never joined the gang. You know what I'm saying? There's gangs, there's organizations, and there's nations. I'm not in a gang. I'm not a gang member. You know what I'm saying? The OGs know where I'm coming from. And what I'm talking about. Facts. Something, sometimes when things are perceived to be something to people, they're not considered that. Or they're not meant to be that. The media might put it as that. But if, I'm a, if you see one of your peoples from your so-called gang, your nation, organization, whatever you thought, whether he was or is involved, right? Because that's at this point, that's nobody's business but the people that was that you're dealing with, right? If he's a little lit, just a little bit, and because he may not feel that he's super lit, not, but if he's doing his thing out of all the people in, in that thing, not even trying to show off or nothing, the individuals, right, or me per se, why would you hate, bro? Why would you be mad about? I'll be happy, super happy, like, yo, bro, whether he was... Blood King, Nieta, whatever, Trinitario, whether he was or is, I'll be like, yo, that's facts. That's one of mine. Or he was one of our people. Like, I'll big him up. Cause I'm happy for everybody, whether you black, Puerto Rican, white, Asian, whatever. I always shout out China Mac. He's Asian. I tell people, don't matter how you like it or not, for the rest of your life, this ever right here and party generations to come, you will always have to mention China Mac when you talk about hip hop. Because when you think of, of hip-hop and where it went and, and how far it reached, and you say, yo, even the Asians were rapping. This one dude, China Mac, had it locked. You got to mention Mac. It's a fact. Yo, you're going to say Jin. These people don't even know who Jin is right now. I do because I'm, 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 I'm an old-timer. You feel me? In people's eyes. It's so funny. I really don't hang out with nobody that's my age. Most of my dudes or dudes I know that I be with in the street are like 20, 19. Those young bucks want to be around war. It's a fact. But with that being said, man, I love you guys, man. Maybe I'm talking a little too much, but I just want to spread love, man. 
You know, no hate. And it, and it don't mean because people be like, oh, this dude's getting soft, man. He's showing people a soft side of him. I've seen it with other podcasters or people in other shows I watch. But nobody says nothing about it, bro. You scared of these people, bro? What's up? I'll be happy if one of my dudes is like the one speaking up a little bit. Even if he's sugarcoating it a little bit. Because we have to. Look where we at. I'm not going to come out in that indictment, bro. I can fax you that. I can fax you that. Because, by the way, you got to be dumb if you don't think that indictment is coming. And I'm talking about the YouTube bang, big em up, bang, bang indictment, bro. And I just say it so people could be like, yo, he was always saying it. He was right, a hundred. Keep bigging dudes up. Keep bigging dudes up, bro. And making them think that they doing something beautiful for the culture or for hip hop or for, or for anything or for the youth, bro. When you know they probably are in their heart, in their heart of hearts, they probably mean well, bro. And I know that people do. This is what we do. You got to be a foul dude to be preaching hatred on here or destruction of your own people or any people. Right? But with that being said, when you know how the FEDS could take it and how they operate, they'll turn while you trying to do positive into nah, bro. But look what they was doing over here. And everything that you was doing positive or trying to do goes out the window. They don't mention that in court. Your lawyer might try to bring it up and they're going to tell you, in other words, with a big terms, but they're going to know, and I'll break down and shut the fuck up. You know he was banging. You understand what I'm saying? But with that being said, man, you in the wrong spot for that, homie. I'm just keeping it real. YouTube is for everybody. It's for everybody. But one thing they, I know that what they will not allow is that bang, bang. The people that are recording videos and banging online, cool. Keep banging. Because that don't impress me at all. And I know you're not trying to impress me, but you know what impresses me? If a dude comes on here and he's selling his people, what happens when you join a gang? What happens when you follow, when you're a follower? What happens when you're a follower? Did I say what happens when you're a follower instead of a leader? And don't lead your people into destruction. I'm talking about lead them to the promised land. We forgot about that, right? But we want to tell them about what set we banging. What set came out first? What set is the hardest? And how they got the whole history wrong. Gang, gang. And I'm not here trying to talk and say, yo, I'm talking the hottest shit on YouTube. Because I see other YouTubers do that. Ain't nobody talking like me or saying what I'm saying on YouTube. I see people do that. And I'm not talking about just Hassan Campbell. Because dudes start commenting and be like, oh, you talking about Hassan Campbell. Because he just said that the other day. I watch everything. I'm warping from on the lockout. What you think? I'm not watching. I watch Queen Flip. I watch these shows. I watch when the caller called and said, yo, do you know Warpath from the lockdown show? He said it all fucked up. He had his opportunity to big us up, but he fucked it up. And I said, listen, shout out to him and thanks a lot, bro. I appreciate you. But I know what he meant. He meant on the lockout. And I seen the comments. Dudes commented on Queen's Flip Show. Bro, how you don't know him? You took his whole flow. You took his whole show. You just did. Um, You just put the, the, the. I seen it in another video. Not this. This one, I seen the comment like that. A lot of them. And then, not probably not a lot. But I seen it. I seen it. Dudes were deleting it after that. I told people, like, that's foul. Chill. I don't mean to. You know, that's not what I'm promoting. That's not what I'm saying. But dudes tell me all the time, yo, he did what you said, the stories that you said about Bailey and them, he just put the actual people there. Because I did talk about that a long time ago on my other channels and on this channel, that they had a dude called Bailey and my Bailey, and people said I was lying. Like, why would I lie? You gotta be crazy to just make these stories up when people could be like, he's lying, a lot of people. It's backwards. You got one or two haters that be like, oh, you lying. The other day, a dude commented and said, you lying, bro. I'm my live. Y'all seen it. You wasn't in one B. Bro, I could explain how one beat looks to you, how it's made. And in fact, you know what? I was in HDM in 1A and I said that on the live. 
with Sunshine, the dude that just made the video, the blood dude who just made the video, because he stood out to me out of all the bloods in 1A. I remember them since I was younger. Remember, it's a lot of years ago. This is like 95, 96, something like that, when I was with Dizzy. And um, because that's when Little Meg came through for his body and Warrior was in my building, his co-defender. They're still locked up. They're supposed to be about to come home. Shout out to Warrior, Blade, love. I popped in the mess or two for Blade. That's an ill story. Dizzy was there. All the bloods was there. It, it was crazy. That's just, that story. I, I didn't fully tell it because Blade is still locked up, a warrior. And I don't know if, if, if you know, it could, it could harm his case. So I wanted to talk to him or to Meg first and see what I could talk about. You know what I'm saying? I respect that code. A lot of dudes don't. They would just tell the story to get publicity. He was on the news. He was on the newspaper recently about being released. Dudes would have jumped on that because that was trending. I didn't. I, I didn't jump on that. And I was the one that was there that actually had to pop. Not had to because dudes told me don't pop for him. But I couldn't do that. He's from Sunset Park. And he's Meg's people. So that meant what? Right. So with that being said, Dudes were commenting and dudes said I was, why, how would I, why would I lie? And why would I lie about that I was in HDM? Sunshine, like I said, Sunshine, I seen, and I was thinking about Sunshine, I said this in a video. I was thinking about Sunshine, and then he popped up making a video how he feels about the OGs talking and all that. Uh-huh. And then, see, ya voy. All right, so, entonces, so, she almost made me start talking Spanish because she's talking in Spanish. The last time this happened, somebody said, this dude lives like he's still locked up. Because they call me, like, on the child. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, all right, walking out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I don't say walking out, but in my head, it's like, all right, I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. I hate when people interrupt me, and I'm in my flow of recording. I feel like saying, yo, but that was the older lady. I was like, you know, fuck up. <laughs> ah, shout out to everybody, man. Yo, listen, man, I'm talking too much, man. Let me just get up off of this and go eat, man. I'll continue this on a live, man. I know y'all probably want to hear what I was about to say about Sunshine and 1A. I'm not saying nothing wrong about Sunshine. Just he stood out to me because he's the one that walked around with an actual bone. I said that before. With a chicken bone on his, on his, on his, like on a red rope. And I was always like, oh, snap. So I went all in with that. Like, you feel me? I don't know. That just stood out to my head in my head. But shout out to everybody, man. Love all people, man. Don't see color. Don't see nationality. Stop spreading hate, man. Real OGs don't destroy hoods. We build hoods. That's a fact. I'm never throwing at nobody. I'm never saying nothing in particular because I saw a video on these other people I'm talking about. Nah. Because these are not the only people doing things like that. It's a lot of people. But I'm not no one here to tell people what to do on their channels or, 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 or with their podcast shows or whatever. But what I will say is that I'll feel bad for anybody if I knew that something was coming your way and I wouldn't warn you about it, which I'm pretty sure you've already been warned, but I wouldn't say nothing about it that could get to your ears. It'll make me, maybe make you think and say, you know what, I'm going to stop doing this like this. Like, yo, a lot of dudes are getting older. They say they got families. You got family. You got a wife. You're probably trying to build a bigger family, have a kid, a house, and all things like that, right? So when you get into a podcast and now people are starting to see you worldwide, like don't, the last thing you want to do, you got that in your heart, man. What the click, the people you ran with, that's in your heart and they know that. And from time to time you can mention it because, hey, are you not watching? From time to time you can say, yo, ah, this was shot. And little forms of ways to let people know, you know, like, yo, I got love for y'all still, but this is what I'm doing over here. So then maybe I can help some of y'all. Because I'm, you're not going to be able to help nobody from the feds. You're not going to be able to help nobody from the prison system. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're going to be able to probably help the people in there if you, know, if you hold weight. You know what I'm saying? But out here, you left a whole bunch of people that were looking up to you out here stuck. And they probably need you out here. So, like, why would you filter down bullshit? I don't know. I would f filter down the right thing. So if anything ever happens, and and I understand because our people are backwards. People in general, the hood, the gutter, the slums. When you start preaching positive stuff, they'd be like, ah, oh, he's soft. Oh, he's getting soft, man. We got to take him out. Whoop, he fooled. No, bro. That's the one you need. Everything was built to uplift people. If I'm preaching to you, gang, 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 bang, 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 bang. Eat the ops. Get them. People going to respect us. 
How am I uplifting my people? I don't see it. It's not beneficial when you start hurting and bringing in violence into anything in the world. The FEDS gets involved. They'll let you rock. They'll get, they got feelings too, some of them. I seen them let people rock. I know family members that cops. I know people, I know dudes I grew up with, they're kicking doors like they do raids, but they grew up with us. I'm like, son was a gangster. How he became a, you know what I'm saying? And he'll be like, nah, I let some dudes rock because I feel bad. I seen him raising a family, doing this and that. But the minute the dude started putting his hands on people, Again, the ratchet and violence get involved. They're like, no, 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 this guy, we stopping this, player. <laughs> you bugging now. And when you bringing it into a family, a, a, a platform that's the biggest platform in the world, besides Google, and we already know who owns YouTube, right, I always say that Google is a fax. You bring it into a place that they, they preach all day, the owner of YouTube. You got to watch her videos. You got to watch her content. They make content too. I'm going to give you a big up if you didn't know. Watch Creative Studios. You're going to learn a lot there. A lot of people ain't going to tell you this. They not because they want you to watch their tech channel. Go to Creative Studios. Watch that. Take the time out to watch a few of these YouTube. They got their own channels they put up. And you're going to see the memos there, the rules, the regulations. They, they're trying to make it more, one of the most family-friendly things in the world. So when they're trying to make something family-friendly, who you think are the first people they watch or the first people they're going to get out? Of course, people that are violating K-I-D-S, right? And then the people that are filtering the junk down to the people that are way younger, to the future, or that they deem that they are. They even came up with rules that say down low hate. Down low. So they already know when you down low, son. So dudes are like, yo, I don't know. They shutting down pages. I don't know why they shut down my page. Bro, you kept saying the word. You know what these are, right? Some people could call it cookies. Or some people call it something else, right? Okay. You kept mentioning them. They. You know who I'm talking about, right? Because when we say them, they. Who we talking about here? That's down low hate, bro. And they picking up on all that now. The algorithm is picking up on that. My name is Warpath. I love y'all, man. I'm just trying to help you, bro. Nobody's talking like me on YouTube, man. I'm the leader. I'm the future. I'm the best activist. Why dudes be saying that, bro? It's not a competition. It's if it is to you, then you're in the wrong thing, bro. You got to do things like this because you love it because you love the people. Not about the money. The money you definitely is going to follow when you're doing good because God's going to bless you. But when you're doing wrong and you're preaching hate, only hate is going to come to you. It's so sad that I always keep in mind that. And it's sad because, like, I know what the outcome is going to be. And sometimes I'm afraid to fully change, like, give it all, bro, because I've come a long way. Believe me. I may still sometimes stick my foot out and then I'll be like, oh, hold up, bro. you bugging, boy. Right? Because I'm not perfect. But I don't want people to do what I do. But you could definitely do as I say. It's not about the messenger. It's about the message. But with that being said, it's sad because I always say to myself, I work so much on myself to progress myself, better myself, right? Elevate myself so that maybe one day I could become of help to others. It's so unfortunate that we live in a world that people will see that you come such a long way and that now you're doing something for yourself and they don't want you to do nothing for yourself because they liked you better when you needed their help. You feel me? Or you don't? They liked you better when you was dirty in the mud. They mad now that you found a way out. Why would you be mad at that dude? And then here comes a coward or someone you did something to years ago. You changed your life. You're doing well. This is what kills me. And this is what's probably going to kill me, literally. And here comes someone that you did something to years ago. And pops your top. Boom! It's been over 20 years this happened. I had a dude, people coming in my comments, no lie, you can see on my lives and everything, it says, Duke said, you robbed me in 91. When I see you, it's popping. Ah, 
Another dude said, you snuffed me in 91 on the island. Damn, 91 was lit then for me. <laughs> you heard? And then people were coming in the comments on my life saying, yo, his son is not lying. He robbed me. He was a stick. Okay, like, why would this dude just lie and say he robbed me? But what he did was a little bit was he solidified that, yo, this dude is not lying. And the, plus my people just say, I never try to, I never try to prove that I'm not lying. I wish some of these commenters wasn't coming and commenting that because some of them I got to think like, yo, what's the statute of limitation over on that, bro? Like, damn, bro, they're going to see this. You feel me? Like, 